What's going on Shady people, Shady Penguin here, welcoming you to our very first, in a very long time anyway, TCGO video. This is a Pokemon TCGO video, and in these videos I'm going to be showing off a deck. Not necessarily one of my creation, but if you guys want to go ahead and leave deck suggestions down in the comment section below, feel free to do so because I'm going to need them for sure. Today I'm going to be showing off a deck that was featured in, uh, I believe it was Nationals, and it was a really, it's one of the coolest decks I've seen in a long time. Now, I'm just going to preface this, uh, our TCGO series is not going to be super Super, super beginner friendly, but I'm going to do my best to explain everything as I'm going. However, if you want to learn how to play the trading card game, I highly encourage you to download the client from the Pokemon.com or Pokemon.com website, uh, and it gives you a nice tutorial in the beginning. You can really learn just by playing, uh, and it's a lot, a lot of fun for sure. Now. The way I'm going to start out these videos and end these videos is with some pack openings. Always with some pack openings. I'm going to open up two packs in the beginning and two packs at the end. So, of course, just like with our real pack openings, if you guys can leave your thumbs, that thumbs up down below can give us some good luck. Let's see what we're going to open today. Let's go ahead and open up, uh, let's open up two Fates Collide because I really want to, I really want to see some Zygarde action. So we're going to open up two Fates Collide right now. Uh, to kick off this video. So this is how the pack opening process goes in TCGO. Really, really cool. They cover the rare, kind of like in a regular... Oh, wow. We got a Servine and then a Reverse Foil Servine. And our rare in the pack is... It's Amanda Buzz. All right, so nothing too crazy. Let's open up another and see if we can get an EX or a Full Art or something for our online collection. So we get anything? Uh, the Evolution Spray and... Ah, Bronzong. So... Nothing too wild, but that's gonna be it for pack opening. We'll do two more at the end. What I wanna do first before we jump into a match is I just wanna show off the deck that I'll be using. Now, this deck is not my creation at all. As you guys can see, Marco Garcia, hope I'm pronouncing your name right, 2016 Nets. This is not an exact copy of the deck because I was missing some cards, but you guys can see I'm running three Sky, uh, three Shaman, um, two Giratina, one Latios, and a Seismitoad. I believe there was supposed to be something else in here, potentially two Latios and two Seismitoad instead. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to leave the Pokemon.com article or the deck list uh, link in the description. If you want to check out the original, you totally can. But only running nine Pokemon, 43 trainers. Uh, crushing Hammer because it's pretty much vital in this meta right now. Uh, puzzle of time because getting cards back from your discard pile is also vital when crushing hammer is around super scoop up really really fun to just pick a Pokemon back up that's been damaged completely uh, then some other staples verse seeker to get your uh, supporters back trainer mail to search uh, through your, the top part of your deck again ultra balls to get some of our Pokemon out since we only have nine and AZ to once again uh, to, to go ahead scoop up your Pokemon very easily without having to flip a coin. Giovanni Scheme, which I actually really, really like. It's come in clutch so many times, the extra 20 damage. I don't know, it just really has every single time. Hex Maniac to turn off abilities. Uh, Lysander to switch your switch Pokemon out from your opponent's side of the field. Just one single N. Uh, which I really like. I hate N so much. So I, I, I mean, it's such a necessary evil, but I, I just don't like it. Fan Club is not in the original deck list. It really doesn't need to be, but I don't know what else to put in here instead since I'm missing some of the cards. Three Sycamore, one Skyla, one Team Flare Grunt just to be like, pop, get rid of an energy because it's really detrimental. You guys can see this deck's only running eight energy. So getting rid of an energy and if time pieces have already been used, it really, really hurts. Uh, then we have two Silent Labs. Um, each basic Pokemon turns off abilities uh, just like that supporter did before we have two fighting fury belts uh two float stones and then one head ringer which just makes uh pokemon ex pokemon's attacks cost one blank more which is really really nice in an energy tight format so so things to note obviously my deck this or this deck setup is huge it's a huge thing so when i play either that supporter or the Arena, I have to be really, really careful. The stadium card, I have to be really careful to know that it's on the field because I've already misplayed a couple times like that. This Giratina card is so beautiful. Prevent all effects of damage, including them to this Pokemon by opponent's Mega Evolution. So it turns off Megas, which is really nice. Megas aren't too, too common, but uh, that's why you don't really care too much about the ability. It's attack, Chaos Wheels, where it really, really shines. So I'm gonna go ahead, and basically what I'm gonna do with these videos, I'm gonna try to have like 20 minute TCGO videos. Sometimes one battle will take the 20 minutes and sometimes we'll have to find two. Uh, for some reason now, start recording and have trouble finding a poem, but we did find one. We have Pyroar Trainer. Ooh, using a, oh, probably using all Greninja since we see the water. Okay, all right, Pyroar Trainer is gonna call the coin flip. So, Pokemon TCG is a lot of fun, a lot of coin flipping, especially with crushing hammers and what have you, but I still enjoy it very, very much. I win the coin flip and I am going to go first. I don't mind going first with this deck. I'm not sure if there's a better preference. If you guys want to let me know in the comment section below. See, this is a pretty, um, he had no basic Pokemon, which is probably going to happen a lot. 
because uh, it's Greninja. Actually, thinking about it, I probably should have let him go first since he's playing Greninja, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, he's probably gonna have, oh, he, he got no basic again. So I'm not, normally you'd look through your opponent's hand and what have you when you're playing real TCG or even TCGO if you're not familiar with the deck, but you guys can see like, um, it's pretty much, it's Greninja Break. It's, it's Water Shuri can fund Madness, which he doesn't really care if I draw a lot of cards because ends back. So you can just end, end me back down. Then you just saw the end in his hand right there. So he will eventually get, of course, the very first match on the channel is going to be one of Mulligan City. And the reason why this is happening is because the Greninja deck usually only plays four Froakies and that's it. Maybe, maybe a Shaman or two, but I, I, I really don't think that it plays that. I think I have a Greninja deck too that I could show off uh, in, a, in a later episode. So of course, if you guys do end up enjoying this content, I really do need you to come through with that support, that thumbs up, uh, just because it's very different from our regular stuff. TCG is kind of a niche thing. I'm not sure if the shady people enjoy it or not. I'm basically just saying yes to drawing a bunch of extra cards because why wouldn't I want to? Um, of course, I wouldn't want to because of that Sycamore. So at this point, I do want to get end. I, I actually do. This is, pr this is a pretty rough starting hand, uh, at least to me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I, I need to get the float stone on this thing, if anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and use an Ultra Ball here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of one Sycamore. And since he's not gonna be playing any EXs, I'm gonna go. Oh, he's got Remoraid Octillery in here as well. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab a Giratina off the back. You guys can see uh, Bat. You guys can see. I'll show you Chaos Wheel really quick. The move, which should be a Pokemon move. Chaos Wheel sounds incredible. Your opponent can't play any Pokemon tools, special energy, or stadium cards. Ridiculous, ridiculous. So we're gonna drop that on the bench and I'm actually gonna go ahead and give one of my Fighting Fury Belts to my Giratina because I think it's worth. We're gonna go for a Trainer Mail and see if we can get <sighs> nothing too crazy, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna grab Giovanni's Scheme because it's not as vital and I think we're gonna be uh, wasting something at some point. Now, I could AZ, draw Latios back up and have Giratina out there, but I don't have any energy just yet. I'm almost, I, I I know it's disgusting because I have two Puzzle of Times in my hand, but I'm really tempted to Sycamore. I'm really tempted to Sycamore. Because uh, Greninja deck just starts going really, really, really fast, and it's really bad. Like, if he's got a Frogadier in hand, it's pretty much bad news bears. Um, if he has a Wally, I should say, it's bad news bears. Because Wally lets him evolve Frogadier right away, attack, and get three other Frogadier or two if one's prized. I kind of think I have to Sycamore. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Sycamore. It's really bad. That's really, really bad, but I'm gonna do it. I think that's a pretty bad play, because he's just gonna end me next turn anyway, uh, and I could have just waited, but we did manage to get some sort of energy, which is nice. So, I think I'm gonna attempt the Super Scoop up at this point. We get it. I'm gonna take Latios back in my hand and throw Giratina out there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the double colorless on Giratina, throw Latios on the bench, and now when Shaman's played, I get to draw two extra cards. Nothing too crazy, but I think it's pretty much worth. Uh, we got another double colorless and another super scoop up, so we're gonna end our turn there. Uh, we really, what we really wanna see is a dragon energy. If we can see a dragon energy next turn, we won't be in the worst of shapes. I love the way this Giratina card looks. Look at this thing! Look at it! Uh, by the way, I took a vote on, twi on Twitter and you guys wanted the cursor left on, so I left the cursor on. A lot of you guys said you enjoyed watching where the player is going to move their uh, hand, essentially. And he's got the Wally as the first card in his hand uh, with the water energy. So what you guys are going to see is really cool. Frogadier gets to evolve right away. Normally, you can't evolve the first turn. You play uh, a basic, which technically that is the first turn. We'll see if he gets all three Frogadier. One, two, three. So none of them were prized. Uh, and that's that's it, it's broken. I love it. I really do love it. I think I think that it's a ridiculously good card. I want to start getting some energy. I want to start slowing him down just a little bit if I can. Uh, I pretty much have to end at this point and hope that I see my dragon energy. It's going to give him cards, but I really need to start knocking out Pokemon as soon as possible because this deck gets scary, scary fast. We didn't see it. That's really bad. Um, we technically can have an opportunity to see it. I can't play Silent Lab because I want to take advantage of this Shaman, obviously. I could technically start doing damage by uh, super scooping up my Giratina, but once again, I really think that's not good. I don't think that's a good play. This is a really rough showing for this deck. Uh, I've been doing so well with it too, and despite the couple misplays I've been having. So I could just drop a double colorless on Shaman and then drop a Shaman, which might be what I'm gonna do. I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and drop this. 
Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna see if we could get some get some sort of value. No dragon energy yet. We do see the floatstone here. I'm actually gonna drop that floatstone right away. Uh, and then I'm gonna proceed to I'm actually gonna discard Silent Lab for now. Actually, yeah, because it's only basic Pokemon. It's really not gonna hurt my opponent at all, so there's no reason for me to keep it. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Fan Club and Silent Lab because Super Scoop Up is super valuable. We're gonna grab our last Shaman. And we're going to hope for the best with this one. Because this is going to be four cards drawn. And we have our Dragon Energy now, which is great. We don't need the Crushing Hammer. We got a Puzzle of Time. Uh, we could Trainer's Mail, but I'm going to wait in case he wants to end us. We're just going to end our turn. Uh, and now we're, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. If he has no Greninjas, we're in even better shape. Unfortunately, Crushing Hammers aren't super effective against the Greninja deck because they often run a card called Fisherman, which lets you add four water energies from your discard pile back to your hand. He's got a level ball, so he's going to be able to search for something with 90 HP or less. That's going to be the Octillery, and Octillery is such a... This, just, this deck is just so good. The engine is awesome. Um, Octillery's ability, once during your turn before you attack, you may draw until you have five cards. So he can just play out Pokemon, play out whatever he needs to, use a Dive Ball to get any Water-type Pokemon into his hand. Uh, he's going to evolve one of his Frogadier for sure, try to reduce his hand size as small as possible, and then draw five cards. Um, once again, the basic uh, shutting off abilities wouldn't do anything, because it's only basic abilities. Uh, and these are all, obviously, he's not running, well, he, he's running Shadow Stitching, which is good. I love Shadow Stitching. I love this Greninja. I love this deck. Really going to be tough for us. Uh, it's going to be really, really tough for us. I kind of wish we had another Giratina out. We're going to see another Wally. Which means he's going to be able to break his Greninja. Oh no, he's just going to go straight for a Greninja. Oh, he's going to he's gonna go for the Poking Greninja now. This is Greninja with Water Shuriken. He can discard a Water Energy, but first he's going to draw three. Uh, he didn't, must have not had any energy in his hand. Maybe he has no more as well. That would be great. He's probably going to use Shadow Stitching and bounce his energy back to his hand. Oh no, I'm sorry. He's going to use Moonlight Slash and bounce his energy back into his hand. Uh, Giovanni's Scheme would be great because it would allow me to knock out a Greninja in one hit because they have 130 HP. Bouncing that water energy is just so, so good. Uh, Giratina is going to be able to take two, well, not really take two attacks, but it, depending on how many energy he has in his hand, we draw our next Giratina, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this here because we need to start dealing out some damage. How much does this do? 110. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks uh, except damage. Okay. That's nothing too crazy. I really don't like Latios that much. I really don't, but maybe I'm using it wrong. We're going to go ahead and attach this. Something tells me he's going to be able to finish me off this turn, though. Uh, we could Lysander. Lysander this. We could Lysander the Octillery out. You know what? I'm going to Lysander the Octillery out. Yeah, I'm going to Lysander the Octillery out and get rid of that. Because he's got to stop drawing cards. He's got to stop drawing cards. Let's go ahead. Give me that Octillery. Uh, let's get a knockout. Let's get a nice and easy knockout right now. Let's do it. Chaos Wheel. Can't play any items, special energy, um, or stadium cards. Pokemon tools, nothing. So we got our second puzzle of time, which is going to be useful because it's possible that our Giratina is going to get knocked out here, and we need to uh, recover those dragon en that dragon energy. So there we go. He's going to break his Greninja right there, and Greninja can discard a water energy. Oh, man. Ultra Ball. He can discard a Water Energy to deal 60 damage. This Greninja can discard a Water Energy to deal 30 damage. Um, it's rough. It's rough stuff. So he might have the damage on the board now. He's only got three cards in hand. Getting rid of that Octillery was huge. Here comes the Water Shuriken. So dealing 60. Uh, bringing me to 140. And he's going to be able to deal another 80. Which will be able to pick up the Knockout. If he has another Water Energy, which I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Shuffle five Pokemon cards back from your discard pile into your deck. So there goes the Octillery and the Remoraid and the Froakie. Maybe he is going to have a Sycamore in hand as his last card. That's going to be a Sycamore. That's a really clean turn. Um, if he draws even one energy, your Giratina is gone. Uh, level Ball. Search for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. I'm guessing the Remoraid. There's that Remoraid. Uh, maybe he has... We well, can't use a Wally this turn because you can only use one supporter per turn. Remoraid is going to hit the field. And maybe he doesn't have he does. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? He has to have it. He has to have that water energy. It's unfortunate because this deck plays perfectly around the Crushing Hammer in the meta, which is why it's one of the best. Uh, he's going to be able to do that as well and start poking. going to poke that Latios. Um, stinks. The Giratina is already getting knocked out. Really stinks. 
Didn't even get a chance to super scoop it up. He gets two prize cards, and we're gonna go out into our free retreat. Latios. Okay, Skyla, let's just search for any trainer. Well, we have to use we have to use our puzzle of time to get two cards back because we are going to need uh, going to need our energies. Yeah, we're gonna need our energies. Let's go ahead and drop the dragon energy on Giratina. Let's use Skyla to search for a let's see potentially hex maniac. Because it turns off all of... It turns off all of Greninja's abilities. And he's got a lot of Greninja's right now. So I wouldn't mind turning them off. Uh, then we'll go ahead and we will retreat. And we'll send out this Shaman. And we will Sky Return to end our turn. Hopefully he didn't manage to draw the Auxiliary as well. Uh, that would, that would kind of stink. I think I'm actually going to have to go out into like either Giratina or... I have to go out into Latios. Uh, and Latius is probably going to get knocked out because he could do 60... Depending on how many water energy he has in his hand, he could do so much. Oh, no! Rough Seas. Rough Seas is bad news, Berries. He's got a second Greninja break out on the field. Definitely a tough break for us. 60. Let's guard another one. Deal another 60. That's 150. Uh, the b other thing is that this Greninja with Shadow Stitching, there's Fisherman. Put four... That's pretty much game. Put four... Water energy into your hand. This deck is just too good, man. Giant Water Shuriken. Uh, now it's in range to get knocked out by a Shadow Stitching. Uh, or he could just do that. He just knock it out that way. That's true. Uh, Giratina is really our only hope, but we're not able to dish out enough damage with this thing. We're not able to dish out enough damage with this thing. So, super unfortunate. Super unfortunate matchup for this first game. I really wanted to show off, like, a good game. I mean, this was a good game. My opponent played perfectly. Um, and that's game. So, really unfortunate. Uh, I know in order to stay in, I had to go on to Giratina. But realistically, I think I lost that one uh, once we saw the preview. So, I'm going to search for one more. You know what? This might be a little bit of a longer video because we're already at 18 minutes. But we're going we're gonna to go ahead and search for one more. 17 minutes-ish. Search for one more and see if we can get a different matchup. We're going to see. We're going against Pure Fighting, which is cool because it could be a Zygarde deck. It could be something else. I don't know. That was a little rough, though. Rough seas. Those were, those, those were some rough waters to endure for you guys. But that's what happens. That's what happens when you play TCG. Look, my cursor can disappear if I go over here because I'm over here. I can eat it. Arr! Waiting for your opponent to load the game. This is always fun. This is like, when, you, when you're trying to... Oh, we got it. Sweet. Awesome. Call the coin flip. Heads gets us in beds. That's right. We're going first. Like I said, uh, my biggest misplay... Well, actually, my biggest misplay might have been not letting him go first. I definitely should have let him go first. Opening up with just Shaman is due to Butterscotch. That is Butterscotch right there. His hand does not look good. Uh, his hand is bad. <laughs> We have fan clubs, which, I mean, I guess will be good for us this time around. Because we can flat fan club Giratina and player dragon energy. Or we could do that. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's go with Shaman and Giratina. All right, all right. Are you the real Shady? This is a Shady fan. That's awesome. I still don't really know how to type in chat, so that's, that's unfortunate. Um, am I going to Sky Return? No, I'm not going to Sky Return this turn. Let's go ahead and do that. And I guess I don't really want to play this shaman. There's no point. I'm just gonna end my turn. Let me see. I think the chat's over here. Haha. Uh -huh. Yep. You're on the channel. There we go. So that's awesome. Oh, come on. That is really bad. That is no good. That's why this item, Headringer, is super, super clutch right now. He's using Birch, only gets to draw four because he flipped a Tails. And he's gonna get a trainer's mail though. Fishing for something else. I'm really fishing, searching. Searching that post office for something else. Fighting stadium. That stinks. That stinks. Cause he could deal 80, um, 100. He can almost knock out Sky Sh uh, Shaman EX. Luckily, I can just return and be good to go. Return and be good to go. 
All right, no energies in his hand. That's great for us. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Um, okay, so we could fan club. We're definitely gonna do this. Oh, why would I do that? Uh, I'm not too, I don't regret it too much. I could have like free retreated. Oh no, I wouldn't even be able to use this attack yet. I need to search for a way to discard a tool, which would be you, I believe. I believe you discard tools. Sir Osric, where'd you go? Um, choose a Pokemon tool or special energy card. Yep, we're gonna go with you. We'll get you for the next turn. I'm gonna put Fighting Fury Belt out just because I can draw two cards. Might as well draw two cards. Yep, I would like to draw two cards. Give me dos, one, two. We got Super Scoop up, which is clutch. Uh, because now I have no fear. Well, not no fear, but I'll go out into Giratina now. Because there's really not too much fear. Luckily, Super Scoop up also plays around the um, Head Ringers. If you scoop up, I believe the Ringer actually gets discarded. Corina on her rollerblades lets you search for a fighting type Pokemon and I believe a trainer card. Really good card. Really, really, really good card. Oh my goodness. Like super, super good. Mm. All right. So it dealt 80 damage to me. Nothing too crazy. Uh, no other energies on the board. So we can go ahead and use this. Get rid of this flare card. Thank you. We'll actually put Fighting Fury Belt on there, so nothing else happens to me. I'm gonna give his Lucario a uh, a flare because he deserves it. We're gonna do that. Let's use Trainer Mail to see what we can search for. Although we're not really looking for anything specific, Crushing Hammer uh, will be good to have later on. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna play my other Sky Shaman because there's no point. Let's just go ahead and knock this Halucha out. Preventing any items, special energy, or stadium cards. Uh, special energy is really clutch against fighting decks because they they often play those special fighting energies. So I definitely, definitely like Giratina is having a much better time with this matchup. Greninja is a top tier deck. I don't think the deck we're reversing right now is top tier, but at the same time, I don't know if this Giratina deck, I mean, it did really well at Nats. Marco played, the, like, played it perfectly. But I, I don't know if it's like, I don't know. It just has some bad matchups. I, I did face a lot of other decks that I had seen that were really, really popular, but it did really well against them with this deck. So definitely a solid deck, really unique. You don't see Giratina very often. We see, ooh, the Gold Verse Seeker. That's flexing if I've ever seen it. I should run downstairs and get my actual Gold Verse Seeker. I'm gonna play another full art Lucario, which the card looks gorgeous. Look at this thing. I love it. Look at the background, the way it sparkles. That's why I love TCGO. We get to see everything. Birch's Observations, trying to draw some more cards. But he can't do it just yet because he already used a trainer. We got another, we got a time puzzle piece. Uh, no reason to crushing hammer just yet. He's gonna have to go for broke. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, fan club to get two basic Pokemon into my hand. We're gonna go with uh, Seismitoad and Latios and get them out there on the field. Basically, just netting me zero. Uh, I just wanted to get down to less cards so I can eventually use Shaman. We're just gonna go ahead, use Chaos Wheel, knock this Machop out. Uh, my opponent's definitely behind the eight ball at this point. We're gonna get another prize. We're gonna go top right because that's what I like to do. Another trainer's mail. It's a golden one. He probably gone into the Lucario uh, with, I would have gone up to the other one. Unless he's unless he's really banking on that Birch. I guess he's really banking on that Birch. Cause he's gonna deal 50. Minimum 50. I mean, actually, Ooh, we got Tails, only draws four cards. Uh, gets one Fighting Energy, though. Goes for the Missile da Jab, does 50 damage. We can live another one, but we won't be able to live the Corkscrew. Uh, so let's go ahead and go for the Crushing Hammer here. Uh, we're gonna get Tails, so it doesn't work. Uh, I should've just used Team Flare Grunt. Nah, we're going for it. Yes! All right, so we're gonna get rid of that energy. That is awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, we're gonna not worry about drawing any more cards. We're gonna get rid of his Fighting Stadium and go for the, I think we're just gonna go for the Chaos Wheel. Let's just go for the Chaos Wheel. Don't need, don't need to use Giovanni's, uh, is Giovanni's scheme? Giovanni's scheme, don't need to use that. So I'm happy about that. Uh, and I know a lot of you are gonna ask, am I gonna play against shady people at times? Yeah, you know what, if, if you guys show enough support, I'll go ahead and have some verse, uh, after playing TCGO for a little while, I'll have some matches against the shady people. So I really need to go for a super scoop up here for a quick and easy game. 
We're gonna get Tails. Uh, I'm gonna go for it again. We're gonna get Tails again, okay. Let's go for the Trainer's Mail. And we have the Float Stone, which I guess we could have saved those Super Scoop Ups, ladies and gentlemen, but it's all good. It is all good. Let's go ahead and retreat. We should have done that Trainer's Mail first. Uh, I'm not too upset though, because we can go ahead and use Shaman. Nope, no abilities. I knew I was gonna make that misplay at least once this video. I knew it. It even has the red arrow to let you know, hey, you have no abilities. You have none, but it's okay. Verse Seeker and Super Scoop Up again. So my opponent has to go out into Machop here. Not has to, but will most likely go out into Machop. Uh, because I only draw one prize from uh, knocking out a, a regular Pokemon. EXs give you two. EXs give you two. Oh my Lanta. Oh my, GG saying GG. Uh, I think that's pretty much conceding. GG man, I'm just gonna say GG. I don't know if it's man or, man or boy or uh, whatever. So we're gonna say that GG. Uh, it's just proud that he could have fought me. So that's gonna be our last battle for this video. But we're gonna go ahead and open up two more packs. Uh, two more packs. Let's do it up. Of course you get a prize ticket for winning. A little bit of prizes, give ourselves some free cards. The ladder is cool. Uh, the versus rewards are cool. Only three days left though, so I'm probably not gonna get anywhere on this thing unless I really start grinding out some some, some battles. The machine gun gross isn't viable anymore. Rip it in pieces. Rip in pieces. Um, but you get a pack here. You get a shaman here. Oh man. You get another shaman here. Oh man. And then three packs, three packs, and then a full art Skyla. Not the one that I have. But let's go ahead. I've been wasting time. Let's go open up another pack uh, right here. Let's see. Uh, what are we going to go with? You know what? People hate that I open up generation packs because they're trade fodder. We're opening them up. We're opening up two generation packs right now. Let's hope for that Jolteon. Can we see the Jolteon? Hope you left your thumbs down below if you enjoyed. Let's see. Okay, we have just one in this pack. Come on, give me some of that. Just the original Tauros. Beautiful art and everything, but seeding anger is what I'm feeling right now. Come on. Come on. Show me the three cards back. Don't flip over three cards. No, that's two. Okay, so we got a fairy energy, which is it reverse? It's foil. Foil energies are so clutch in generations because they look the best. All right, we're gonna go with huh? a Flareon EX. I will take it. And then of course our last one is a Nine Tails EX. This pack was literally EX fire. Oh my goodness, that's awesome seeing two EXs in one pack. That's hype, I can get down with that. Like I said, if you enjoyed, show some shady love down below. We'll be back again for another TCGO video. If you guys want it, just use the hashtag again, again in the comment section and I'll know to bring some more stuff. And don't forget, leave deck suggestions as well. I love you so much, but I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady.